Hello and welcome to the section of the differential equations tutor. Here we're going to use the variation of parameters method to solve our first third order differential equation. Uh, it's not going to have constant coefficients. It's not going to have a, uh, a clean looking appearance, but it's totally you know, doable. So let's go ahead and see what we have uh, here to apply this method. So the equation that we're given is the following. T squared times the third derivative plus 2t times the second derivative minus 2 times the first derivative operating on x is equal to t cubed. That is the equation. Notice that uh, we do not have constant coefficients uh, and so on. Now in this particular equation we're also given, and a lot of times you will get this on your test, we're also given that the solution to the related homogeneous equation uh, is given to us. It's c1t squared plus c2 times 1 over t plus c3. This is given to us. The reason that I, it's given to us in this problem um, is because we don't know how to solve this homogeneous. If we, if we take this and put a zero there, then we have not yet learned how to solve any, homogeneous, any uh, homogeneous equations unless they have constant coefficients. There are methods to do it. They're usually very special cases and they get, you know, more complicated. So you're typically not, up to this point in your learning, able to do that. So in this case, it's given to us. But we know that this really is just a tiny part of the problem anyway because this is only half the solution. We still have to find the particular solution, and all of that involves the system of equations and all of that stuff. And it's a third-order equation, so we should expect to see three equations in our system of equations. So it's going to be a little bit harder to deal with. Now, the first thing we need to do is put it in standard form. Right? So in front of the d cubed, we have something there. So we don't want that. So we divide by t squared. So what we're going to get is d cubed plus, if we divide this by t squared, uh, what we're going to get is 2 over t d squared minus, and if we divide by t squared here, we'll have 2 over t squared d x. Right? And that's going to equal when we're dividing by t squared, we're just going to have t. So you divide every single term by t squared. This divides out and gives you this. This divides out and gives you this. This divided by t squared gives me this. This divided by t squared just gives me a, a plain t. Now, typically the way you would do, you know, in all of the previous problems is we would take the right-hand side, throw it away, make it zero, and find the homogeneous solution. But like I said, since we have these non-constant coefficients, we don't know how to do that. So this problem actually gives us that answer. So that part's really done. You know, the only thing that you really need to do at this point is guess the particular solution. So everything else follows exactly as it does before. Since we know what h of t is, then we just guess that the particular solution is exactly of the same form. Plus c2 of t, 1 over t, plus c3 of t. This is now the particular solution form. We just take h of t, we make all of the parameters vary, all the, the uh, guys vary there. So again, it's so far shaping up to be not too bad at all. Now here's where the rubber starts to meet the road. We have the particular solution, now we need to write our set of equations. So let's go uh, begin here. We write down the particular solution exactly as we did before, except we make uh, them first derivatives. We put a prime mark there. We have a t squared, right? Then we have a c2 prime of t, 1 over t, and then we have a c3 prime of t, and the first equation always gets a 0 on the right-hand side. Okay? 